You know, as content creators, it is very easy for us to say, download this software, click here, click there, and it's going to work for you. Yeah, in most cases it does, but there are some situations where you need to have the understanding of why you're doing what you're doing. Now, the reason why I'm opening up with this is because I almost gave up on selling my products and my courses online. The reason is, it's not because I did not know what sales funnels were, or I did not know how this software could link up with this software and make things work. It's understanding the whole concept of sales funnels until I came across a video that explained this in a very, very simple way. So I've created my own version of uh, how I came across this video to try and understand or try and this time help you understand how this works. So let's say you have a product on your website, which you're selling for $100. You're going to need some traffic, really. I mean, there's no way to run away from this. You're going to need traffic. And the traffic in this case are people visiting your website. Chances are, if you're starting off, no one knows about you. You have no traffic going to your website. So you are going to be going for advertising. So right now for Facebook ads, it costs about a dollar a plead. So let's say you paid $100 here to Facebook to get 100 people to come over here. Now, according to stats, they say, about 1% converts to buy a product. So really think about it, 1%. So if we take a look here, we have a product here for $100 and we have 100 people buying. That means with 1% conversion rate, one person is going to buy. And that's going to give you $100 over here. Hmm, okay. So I haven't made any money here, have I? That's just break even. As crazy as it may be, Sometimes we put so much effort in the advertising, but not understanding the whole concept. Now, let me take this a step further. If you were selling a product for $49, then you're making a loss. You're not really making any, uh, making any money. And this is very frustrating because, well, in my head, I thought, okay, if I can bring so many leads to my website, maybe that should make up for the product that's being sold. But the only thing that really makes a funnel work or make the online business structure work is when you start adding upsells and downsells or even order bumps. I used to see these on a lot of websites, but I did not understand really why uh, they, they were there. Of course, I know they're there to add your, your order value, but I, I didn't think it was really worth adding it on my own website. So what I'm going to do in today's video is I am going to show you how to build a system on your own website. Now that we have the concept of how the sales funnels work, we can now go into building a website or a funnel website with this knowledge. So if you have product A like we have here on the top and you have order bumps and we have uh, upsells, definitely we're going to be making more money over here. So just by adding a 50 pound product here, as, a, as an offer, we are getting 150. In this case here on the top, if we upsell them to one uh, to, to this product B, you get an extra 200. So this is the formula that I am talking about, which we need to be implementing, or this is how we're supposed to be thinking about when we create our websites. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this, put it all together. And this even gets more exciting when you add follow-up emails, that is where really the profit comes. Uh, the video that I was watching, they talked about breaking even here initially, but making the money by offering other things via email. So I really like the way it was broken down and I hope that you understand this too. So like I said, we're going to learn how to build this on our WordPress website and all the tools that I'm going to be using in today's tutorial, they're going to be in the video description below. Let's dive in and let's build our sales funnel. All right, so before we get started, let's take a look at a real life example of how funnels are used. So over here, I'm on a website called bt.com. This is an internet service provider. So when I scroll down here, you notice that these are the services they have. So I'm just going to choose this one right here for $24.99. So when I select it, uh, we now go to uh, this page, 
Now you notice here it says add uh, complete Wi-Fi or I can skip. So this is similar to like an order bump. So if I skip this, we're going to go to the next step. And again, you can see uh, it's giving us all this free activation and uh, free PNP. And it also has a time... Um, a timer right here where the offer ends. These are the sort of things that we can do on our funnels as well. So as you can see, these are all upsells. These are all upsells. So if I say add and continue, this now is going to be added to my total. So you can see here, my monthly now is up to £39.99. So as I go through here, there's also more upsells. So here we have this one here, watch BT uh, TV. $5 a month. This is um, 4K, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's add it. So if I click on add to order, notice that my monthly now has gone to $44.99. So instead of me just coming to this site and just purchasing one item, the reason why we have this series of steps or series of funnels is because we are trying to get the customer to buy even more items that relate to the initial product that uh, the customer is buying. So this is why funnels are really powerful. So I just thought I'd just give you a quick example and show you how this can be used in real life. Now, let's take a look and see how our process is going to work here. So when it comes to funnels, it doesn't really matter if you're selling a physical product or a service. So you can be someone who is an educator, you have uh, products, you have services, you're a consultant, or you're even a blogger. So sales funnels can work in those scenarios. As long as you sell something, definitely you are able to use uh, upsells and sales funnels. Okay, so I have a quick example here. If we take a look at this, this is our main, let's say this is our main page where our product stays. So a customer would come to our website and see our offering here. It could be a product, it could be a service, it could be a course, it could be anything, all right? So the normal way is people would come over here to this page, make a payment, they get their product, and that's it. So in this example, uh, the product costs $100, okay? So that's what uh, the first scenario will give you, just $100 and that's it. Now here's a second scenario which involves funnels. So here the person comes on, buys the product, and then before they go to the checkout page or the thank you page, they have this upsell. So we are saying, hey, would you like uh, product B as well or service B? If not, that's fine. We give them another offer again to say, hey, do you like product uh, B? Yes or no? And then if they say yes, boom. Now the offer uh, total is now 150. So just by adding these two steps, you can see that you can see now that we can make even more money. Oh, in fact, here it's supposed to be product C. Don't know how I missed that. Let me just fix that. There we go, C. Okay. So here they will buy product A and then add product C. Already you've added fifty dollars to this order. On the top one here, you've added an extra two hundred. So let's say, let's say you are paying for traffic because traffic um, sometimes is, a, is can be very expensive depending on how you're running your business. So if you're new and you'd like to um, set up your website and sell a product or a service, chances are your SEO is not going to be in place. Chances are your website is not popular enough for your articles or your website to be seen in Google. So the only alternative is you'd have to use paid traffic. And this is where it becomes a bit tricky. It is profitable, of course, if you use sales funnels, but there's also a technique that you need to do here and also understand how this is going to work. So traffic here is approximately a dollar a click, right? So let's say you spent $100 here to get 100 people. Usually 1% buys. So if one out of 100 people buy and your product is $100, you make 100. So here you're breaking even. So let's say you have a product which is less than hundred dollars and yet it's a dollar per click that means you're making a loss and this is what a lot of people don't get so when you use sales funnels this is where you increase your order value and this is why i encourage you if you're not doing it yet you need a sales funnel to run your online business it's very very important so again let's go back to our example here so here if you're selling a product which is 47 dollars uh, or 40 or 50 dollars and yet you're paying uh, a dollar a click for 100 people to come over here, you're going to make a total of $50, which means you're losing or you've made a loss of 50 US dollars. But over here now, 
let's let's use the simple numbers. A hundred people come in, one buys, you've made your hundred dollars here. But while they're on the site, you entice them to, or you give them another offer, which of which is fifty. Now you've made a profit of fifty dollars just by this simple basic funnel right here. On the top one, you're gonna make a profit of $200. So as you can see, this is really powerful. I know I've spoken enough about this. It's time now to dive in. Let's build this and uh, let's make it happen. Okay, so all this starts with a, a very good web hosting company. So the company that I recommend is a SiteGround. SiteGround is really, really powerful. It is also optimized to work with Divi. So it is going to be super fast. It also has a lot of features that are really, really amazing. So when you, lose, when you use the link, which I'll provide in the video description below, you're going to get 75% off. Uh, so I would recommend you go for this one right here. So let's view the plans and just see what this looks like. So here we have this grow big. With this offer, normally it would go for $20 a month. You are going to get this at $4.99. Now, I know you can see pound signs here. Don't worry about that. In your country, it will be showing you the currency in your country. So if you're in America, this will show in US dollars. Okay, so here's what you get. Unlimited websites, which is fantastic. If you want to build funnels or you want to build websites for others, this will be the package which is right for you. Next, we have free uh, WordPress installation. I will show you how that works. And you also have free SSL. Now, when you run a funnel on your website, you're going to need secure um, communication between the buyer and your website. So for that transaction to be encrypted, you need SSL and you get this for free as well when you sign up for this package. Okay. In fact, on all packages. The next part here is very important, daily backups. So when you run a, a website where you're selling services and products, if something goes wrong with your website, you need to be able to get up and running super fast. Remember, you're selling products. Each day you're offline, that's a day you could be possibly making money. So having these backups are very, very, very important. Okay, moving on. Uh, it also has uh, e-commerce enabled, enhanced security. So this is also something that is fantastic because if you're running a website, you don't want your website to be exposed to uh, hackers where you, you're going to end up losing you know, a lot of your content. So security here is also there. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So this is really, really good. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to log in quickly so I can show you uh, what is in my account. So let's have a look here. Let me add my password. In fact, you know what? I think it's this. I'm not sure which. Oh, there we go. So I just want to show you quickly what the interface looks like. So I'm going to accept all cookies. So here is what this looks like. If you come over here to websites, this is where you would click to create a website. So when you click here, this is uh, right now, I don't have any hosting plans here, but this is where you would uh, go in to uh, create your website. It will install WordPress for you. And the good thing here is as well on the collaborators, you can also add people to help you with your website design. Okay, so there's uh, one step that I, uh, I need to show you as well, and that is how to actually uh, get to uh, connect your domain name as you are setting up your website. So let me just get out of here. I think I'll just go back again. Okay, so let's say we are here and we choose the plan and uh, we decide to go with this one. This part is very important because you need to have a domain name. So you can register a new domain here on SiteGround or if you already have a domain, you can just add your domain name here. So let's say my domain name is Funnels to Income. Okay, so here's my domain name. I can hit proceed. And this now is going to take me to this page where I need to enter all my information. So this very first information here is very important because this is what allows you to log into the SiteGround uh, control panel. So add, add your email address and password and then confirm your password. Make sure you make a note of this. You need to write it somewhere. Next, over here on the country, this is where you'll select your country and uh, your first name, last name. You don't really need to add your company or your VIT stuff, but you need your address. Next, you can enter your card number here. 
expiration date and also the CVV code. Now, once all this is uh, set up, this is now the summary of your deal. So as you can see here, we have 12 months of this uh, hosting package here, this grow big at a 499 discount is going to bring you to a total of 59.88 and then plus the VAT it's 71 dollars or pounds 86 okay so once you hit pay now you need to uh go and check your email because they're going to send you a confirmation email there where you'll have your login details and if the payment has gone through that's where you'll get all your confirmations okay so let's say everything is done you've set everything up uh, once you uh, start your website in the control panel, you should get a website that is really basic and looks like this. So here we are. This is a basic WordPress install. So you need to go in and log in. So these details are going to be in your email. So it's wp-admin. So this is where you'd add your WordPress admin and password. So in my case here, I've already gone ahead and logged in. So this is why I am in my website. So let's talk about the uh, services that we're going to need for this to work. First of all, we're going to need a page builder. The reason why we need a page builder is because it makes the design of our website very, 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 very easy. We have all our design tools, our colors, the fonts, all that is in one place, which makes it very, very easy to use. Now, I recommend Divi because Divi is super powerful. This page builder here is uh very very popular and also the pricing is fantastic so here you can see this is uh it has a lot of uh five stars here people are really happy with uh with divi now i've already gone ahead and purchased uh i have a lifetime license so what you need to do is to uh, log in but before i do that let me just show you the pricing so here when you purchase divi it's 89 dollars per year you get unlimited, you can use it on unlimited websites. You also have unlimited updates. And if you go for the 249, this will give you a lifetime license. You can see lifetime support, lifetime updates, unlimited websites. So if you are uh, someone who wants to go into designing websites for others as a freelance or as a freelancer or as an agency, this is what you need. So you can imagine 249 as an investment <laughs> that is huge. And also this comes with, with a lot of bonuses. If you buy this using my affiliate link, I will also give you a lot of training around um, Divi to help you get up and running super fast so you can build professional looking websites. So what I've done here ahead of time is I've already gone in. Uh, let me show you what the uh, control panel looks like. So I've already gone in and I have um, downloaded Divi. So this is where we have our theme. So I've gone ahead, clicked here to download it. I downloaded it, went over here to my website. We, and then over here on the themes, click here on themes. And to install it, you just click on add new, upload theme, choose file. And then you can just navigate to where you downloaded it and then install. I've gone ahead and installed it and uh, it is right here. So now I'm going to hit activate. It's very important that we activate it. Great. So now that our theme is activated, the next step now is to add your API key. So I'm going to come over here to Divi, click on theme options. Now, the reason why we need to activate our API key is because we need to get all our updates from Elegant Themes automatically. Okay. So, and also you can get remote support. If you are having problems with your website, uh, you can get remote support and this will definitely help you with your site. Okay. So to enter our username and API key, just enter it here. And API key goes, goes over here. Now, where you should find the API key? Well, if you log into your um, Elegant Themes uh, area, go to Account, API Keys. So this is where you have your username and API key. Now, I have covered this because, of course, <laughs> I don't want you guys to use my API key. Okay. Anyway, so back over here now. Um once you've entered your API key, basically you're good to go. Now, we're also going to need a few tools to make our funnel work. So the question is, what tools do we need? Well, you're going to need to use Cutflows and Fluent CRM. Fluent CRM, you don't really have to use it because it, uh, it's your emails, it, 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 it manages all your emails, right? But I would advise that you use it because that's where you can you know, send confirmation emails. You can even sell, you can even send... Uh, 
other emails, promotions, and stuff like that. But I'll show you how to set everything up. Okay, so um, to add all our plugins, first of all, let's take a look at Cardflows. So Cardflows is the software that uh, allows us to build our sales funnels. So you can see here, it works with WordPress. We can have one-click upsells, order bumps, split testing, uh, checkout form analytics. You know, it also has templates. So this is very, very good. Now, if you take, here, take a look here at the pricing, there's an offer here which will save you $200. The link to that is in the video description below. So normally, the annual license is $299, but here we're going to get it for $199 if you use the link that I've provided in the video description below. They also have a lifetime, but you know what? I would say go for the $199, see how it goes, and then upgrade after that. Unless you're confident that you want to go in and uh, work with the license, uh, with a lifetime license. So once you've purchased this, and trust me, I know it looks like it's a lot of money. This is a massive investment. It's been running on my business and I've made quite a lot of money using this software. So it will pay itself back once you set everything up correctly, which is my intention in this live workshop. Okay, so once you've uh, purchased this, you need to log in, download the software and install it. When it comes to installing the software, what you need to do is to head over here to plugins, click on add new. So the first one you need to install is Cutflows, the free one. Okay, so I'm going to search for Cutflows and hit enter. Now you may be asking why, uh, what's the difference between the free version and the paid version? Well, if I come over here, I think they have a comparison. Let's go back. And uh, let's have a look. I think we have it on this page here. It should be a comparison somewhere. That's weird. Okay, you know what? I will find the comparison for you and show you what's the difference. But basically, the difference is Cutflows Pro will have all these features, the upsells, the downsells, the A-B testing, and all of that. Whereas the free one does not have those features, okay? So once you um, activate it, the next step now is to go into your control panel here. So in my case, I've already gone ahead and downloaded uh, Cutflows. So you see here when you say uh, get it, you can log in. So I've already gone ahead and logged into my account and downloaded Cutflows. So that's the pro version, okay? So to upload it, you need to come over here to upload plugin. And then this time around, you need to click on choose file and then navigate to where you downloaded it and then upload it from there. Now, I've already gone ahead and done that, so I don't need to do it again. The next software we need to install is called Fluent CRM. This is going to control our emails. So to do that, you need to go um, back to our plugins. Okay, and you need to click on add new. So Fluent CRM also has a free and paid version. So search for Fluent CRM. Search. So this is the one. You click on install now and then activate it. Now, once activated, you go to Fluent CRM, which is right here. And they also have an offer, 40% off. So I have a link to uh, this offer in my video description below. And if you also buy this, it also comes with a course that teaches you how to get up and running with this super fast. All right, great. So once you've downloaded this and uh, to your computer, you need to now add it or upload it into your plugins. So you click here on upload, choose file, and then navigate to the folder where you downloaded it and install it on your site and activate it. So once you've added all this, you have Fluent CRM here. If we go to the dashboard, you'll notice that there isn't much going on there because we haven't set up anything yet. And also on Cutflows, if we come over here, there isn't anything uh, going on here on these um, sales funnels. Now, what we need to do next is to uh, set up all our products that we're going to be selling, our products or our services. So in this case, we are going to need WooCommerce. So WooCommerce is going to work as our engine that's going to help us sell our products on our website. So let's go ahead and install WooCommerce and add the products or the services, okay? So to do that, 
this is going to be a plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins and then click on add new. Next, I'm going to search for WooCommerce. Here it is. I'm going to click install now. And this one here, this one here is free, by the way. So it's going to take a while to install. But while this is installing, uh, WooCommerce is super powerful and it is very stable. So I highly recommend that you use WooCommerce for this. And all these uh, plugins that I'm talking about here, they work really well together. Super powerful. And in a moment, I'll show you how easy it is to connect everything all together to have a um, funnel website. So now that it's installed, I'm going to click on Activate. So once activated now, you're going to get an entry here which says WooCommerce. So why don't we go ahead and start adding all our products? So I'm going to come over here, hover over where it says products, and then click on add new. So I'm going to call this product A or... So like I said, I mean, this works with, uh, with uh, products or services. So let's to make things easier, let's just do product A, product B, product C, okay? So I'm going to start here with... Product A, and let's give it a price. Now, before I do that, let's take a look here at the price. So we said product A is $100, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So product A, I'm going to scroll down here. Let's add our price, and this is $100. Simple as that. We're now going to publish that. Let's add another product. So this is going to be product B. Okay, product B. And we said product B is how much? 200. Okay, so product B is 200. Okay, that's great. I'm going to publish. And I think product C is, okay, it's $50. Great, I'm, I'm going to add new. So product C is $50. I'm going to scroll down here and give the price as well. All right, great. So I'm going to hit publish as well. Now let's take a look. Uh, now let's take a look at all our products. So I'm going to click on all products. So now we can see that we have product A, product B, and product C. That is brilliant. So for sales funnels to work, you're going to need products. Without products, basically you can't do any sales funnels. So you have to make sure that you have products or services that you uh, offer in order for you to sell. I mean, in order for you to set up these uh, sales funnels. All right, great. So the next step now is to do a few uh, customizations to WooCommerce itself. So I'm going to now hover over where it says WooCommerce, or in fact, just click here on WooCommerce. And what I need to do, it's taking me through this wizard now. <laughs> right, so uh, I'm going to skip all this. Can I skip it? Yes, I can. I don't need to add all this right now. I'm going to close out of here. Okay, so let's go to our settings. So click here on the left side, click on settings. Okay, so what we need to do here is to go to our payments. This is where you need to add your payment information. So you can uh, use PayPal or Stripe. So you'd need to add those uh, services, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. And then over here on accounts and privacy, this is where guest checkout. Okay, we're going to allow that. And then we want to make sure allow customers to create an account during checkout. This is important. Uh, so we need to have this. Okay. All right, so I'm going to save this. 
Right, so for our payments here, I did say that we need Stripe or PayPal. So let's go back to our plugins here and add WooCommerce PayPal. So I'm going to go to add new and search for my plugin here. Search for PayPal WooCommerce and see what we have here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit install. Activate. Okay, so I can also add Stripe. And that is if I need to uh, uh, take some payments from credit cards and debit cards. Okay, so back over here now, I am going to go to my settings one more time and let's have a look here at our payments we should have that entry now I'm gonna scroll down here and here is uh, PayPal so all I have to do now is to activate this or enable it and now it's gonna ask me to connect to PayPal Okay, let's go to PayPal Sandbox. Add my email address. Okay, my region here is United Kingdom. Next. Add a password. Okay, so I've entered my password. Oh my goodness. Let me just add the, the caps lock. All right, so I've entered my password. So everything seems okay. It's asking me now for a business type. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna say individual, next. <laughs> I have to fill all this in. You know what? Let's skip this for now. But anyway, uh, you would need to add all this information. I'm just going to save. I don't want to spend too much time here um, adding all this information. But anyway, that is how you set up your PayPal. But of course, in your case, it should not be a sandbox. All right. So now that we have our products all set, we have uh, WooCommerce set up. We also have our payment processing. That is fantastic. The next step now is to set up all our systems for them to work together. So the first part I'm going to uh, take a look at here is to build our funnel. And But before we build the funnel, we need to make sure that uh, Divi and Cutflows and all these other products are really waiting for us to, to integrate them together very well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to come over here to... Cart flows. So this is our funnel building software. So I'm going to come over here to funnels, uh, to cart flows, and then click on settings. So that's the first thing we need to do here. So we haven't created a, a global checkout yet. I mean, we don't need to do that right now. Now our templates need to be ready for Divi. So you need to make sure you select Divi here. It's very important. Save settings. And then... Um, Let's see on other. Okay, I don't think there's anything here. If you need to connect this with Google Analytics so you can see how your funnels are performing, you can always add all this uh, Facebook. You know, you can add all this information over here. But normally I don't um, use any of that. I'm just happy to set up this for now. Okay, great. So now that we've set up cart flows to work with Divi, the next step now is to create our funnels. So I'm going to come over here now to flows. So funnels, cart flows, calls them flows. So that's how this is going to work. So I'm going to click here on add new. So I need now to choose a 
template that works with uh, what we want to offer here. Now, if the template doesn't work with what you want, it doesn't really matter because it uses Divi. We can always go in and change uh, the design of all this all together. So I'm going to go with this one right here. I'm going to click on view all steps. And I can see we have a landing page, checkout page, and thank you page. We can always add any other extra pages if we need to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on import flow. Okay, so let's just call this uh, main product. Okay, and also this could be a service. Okay, so just bear in mind that this is not just about products. This could be also a service. I'm now going to hit import flow. So this now is importing all the steps that we need for this to work. So this is going to take a while and let's have a look and see. Okay, great. So we have all the steps we need. We have the landing page, the checkout page and the thank you page. But remember, over here we spoke about these upsells. Okay, we're going to need an upsell and a downsell. So we might as well add all those steps right now. So I'm going to click on add new step. So we need upsells. I'm going to come over here. So my upsell that goes with that is going to be maybe this one here. Let me just go ahead and import it. So I'm going to say upsell. And this one here is for $200, I think. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Oops, okay. Okay, let's say that's $200. I'm going to import that. Okay, great. I have my upsell. Uh, now I need my downsell. So I'm going to add another step. And now I can go to downsell. And this is what we have. So I'm going to say downsell. So this downsell here, I think it's for $50. I'm going to import the step. So basically what we're trying to do here is to set up these products here. So we have our main one, and then we have the upsell here, and then we have the downsell. Okay. So back over here, this is how we have this. Now I'm going to drag my thank you all the way to the bottom here because that's going to be the last step. Okay. So it's going to be the landing page, checkout page, upsell, and downsell in that order, okay? Now, it's time to add our products because remember, we set all our products in WooCommerce. So let's add our products. So I'm going to click here on my checkout and assign the products. So I'm going to say edit. Okay. Right away here, I can uh, enable design settings. In fact, you know what? I don't need to do this right now. Let's add our products first. So I'm going to come over here to my product and then click on add new product. So our product here is product one, if you remember. I mean, product A. That's our main one. Boom. So that's added. That's great. That's all I need to do for now. Now, there's also other features here, like if you come over here to the settings, you can go ahead and uh, copy that shortcode and then enter it manually on your site. And uh, over here on the form field, in fact, I'll show you how to customize this. I don't want to go uh, far ahead of myself here. So this is the checkout page. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to save. And now let's go back. Let's go to our upsell. I'm going to hit edit. So click here on products. So I'm going to type it in here. So our upsell is product B. Let's go ahead and add it. So quantity is one, the discount type. So you can add a discount here if you, if you want to. So let's say discount percentage. You want to give a 10%. So we can just add here 10%. And that's the original price. The discount price is 180 Okay. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to now go ahead and save settings. Okay. I think that's worked. Okay. Great. 
let's go back to our main page here. Oops, invalid position. What's that about? Let's go back in. Okay, so I'm going to go to products. Let's not give a discount to this, okay? Save changes. Okay, great. Everything is saved now. Let's go back. And I think we've got one more to do. Valid position. I wonder what that is. Anyway, let's go ahead. And uh, let's add our downsell. I'm going to click on edit here. And we are going to go to the products. And this one here is product C. There we go. Save settings. Okay, excellent. So now everything is all saved. Let me have a look here at the settings, see what is happening here. Okay, these are the main settings. All right. So we've added everything here and our flow has all our steps. So I wonder what this invalid position is. There must be something that I am uh, missing here. Oh, you know why? <laughs> the thank you page is coming first here. This thank you page needs to be the last part, okay? Notice that everything is done now. I'm not sure why my thank you page went up there. That is crazy, okay? Anyway, everything now is in order. So I'm really happy with this. The next step now is to make sure that when we design our... Landing page, checkout page, and thank you page, and all that. It needs to work with Divi. And now I need to show you where you need to go and activate to make this work together. Okay? So, if I come over here, we need to go to Divi. Click on Theme Options. Next, you want to come over here to the Builder. You notice we have Steps. Steps is how Divi recognizes uh, cut flows. So if I enable steps here, this now is going to uh, help us to set, I mean, to design our template, okay? Or our, our funnel. So now I'm going to hit save changes. That's great. So everything is all set. Our funnel is set, ready to go. The next step now is let us set up an automated system that is going to control our emails, uh, send all our emails out, and also help us uh, control and see how our customers are on our website. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to set up cut flows. No, no, no. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm getting tired now. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to set up Fluent CRM. Okay, so back over here now, let's go to our site. So I'm going to go now to Fluent CRM dashboard. So the very first thing we need to do is to add tags so we know what is going on on our website. So I'm going to create a tag by coming over here to contact and then click on tags. So we want our system to recognize what is happening as things are going on on our site. So the first thing I need to do here is to create a tag which says bought product A, okay? Okay, bought product A. I'm going to confirm that. We also need bought product B and bought product C. Okay, and finally, we need bought product uh, C Okay, so why do we need all these tags? Well, we can set up our system in such a way that we can automate quite a lot of things here. So let's head over here to automations, okay? So we want our automation to start by, in fact, we need to create a brand new automation by clicking over here. So we, were, we are going to say, okay, you know what? When someone buys, so this is a customer, right? Customer customer. Okay. So we want that when someone purchases our product, we uh, execute certain, 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 pro certain emails. Okay. So we're going to say when tag applied, continue. So this is the name of the automation. 
Okay, let's call this customer buys product A. Okay, let's choose our tag, bought product A. And then I'm going to save. Right, so the question now is, what do you want to do when someone buys product A? So we want that when someone buys product A, we send them a custom email. So this one here is a thank you email. And all this is going to be automated, by the way. So I'm just going to say um, thank you. Product A. It's always a nice touch to, uh, to have this. So here I'm going to say hello. And I'm just going to enter some dummy information here. If you need to add a button here with a call to action, you can also do that. And uh, it's quite straightforward to add buttons here. So you could say... Um, download here. Let's say it's a downloadable product. Then you say download here. So let's say that's the email. I'm going to hit save changes. And... There's a lot we can do here. We can remove from the list. We can remove tags. We can, I mean, this is a video for another day. So Fluent CRM is super powerful when it comes to automating your process. So here, we're going to say, you know what? Let's end this funnel here, okay? And save settings. This is just something very basic. Someone buys a product, they get a thank you email, and then that's it, okay? So over here now, we're going to um, enable this so that it is on. So the question is, how does Fluent CRM know that a person has bought product A, right? Let me show you where to fix that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to WooCommerce here. So I'm going to go to products, all products. So here, we're going to go to product A. So the deep integration that Fluent CRM offers is fantastic. So let me show you what I mean. I know I'm excited about this, but look at this. So for product A, which is right here, okay? For product A, I can come over here to Fluent CRM and say, you know what? Apply tags. And the tag is product A. So this is how Fluent CRM knows that when someone buys product A, that's going to what? Trigger that automation that we've just created, okay? So now I'm going to scroll all the way down here. In fact, I'm going to hit update. So what you may also want to do is to add another tag for anyone who has refunded. So you can see here, if someone is refunded, you can just add another tag called refunded. But of course, we have to create that tag, okay? So let's go ahead and do this for all our products. So if someone buys... We're going to give them a tag called bought product A, bought product B, bought product C. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Now let's go to, what product is this? Oh, this is A. Let's go to all products. Now we can go to B, do the same thing. All we need to do is just to uh, apply the corresponding tag. Okay, so this is product B. We come over here to Fluent CRM, bought product B, update. Great. So now that we've applied tags, it makes it easier for us to automate our system here. So you can just sit back, relax, and your website is going to be performing all this for you. Now, I know we haven't had a look at uh, the actual funnel yet. This is the next step. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so over here now, we're going to go to cart flows and then click on flows. So this is our main product or service. I'm going to click on this. So here is our landing page. So we can go in and rename this landing page here to something even more uh, or something much better. So to change that, you just come over here and say, um, let's say this is a product. Um, okay, let's call this poultry or farming, farming course. 
or farming consultancy. Okay, I'm going to save that. Now, we can go in and edit this with Divi. So I'm going to say edit with Divi. And this now opens our, our, our builder. So I'm going to close this, edit with the Divi builder. Okay, so as we can see now, this is our page, and this is the design that came with um, with our funnel here. So I can now go in and start deleting things I don't need. I can delete this part here. I can see, in fact, let me undo that. Uh, I can see here in the background, I also have this image here in the background, I can go in and change that. So let's delete that. So you can see here that it's quite easy to go in and customize. So I'm going to save that. This text, we can go in like that. We can change all this text here to our main uh, text. But you know what? You know how to use Divi now. So basically, we can go in and make all these changes. I'm going to save this now and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, I'm going to save and exit. Okay, great. So this is what our page would look like. So if I scroll down here, you can see this, is, this will be like the main landing page. It has all the features that we need. And if I click on Get Started Now, it's going to take us to the checkout page. And look at that. Our checkout page has our product A, right? So this is ready to go. So if I say place order, in fact, I'll have to fill in all this. So here on this form, it depends. If you're selling a physical product, then of course you're going to need all the shipping details and all of that. But if you're just providing, say, consultancy services, you may not need all these uh, fields. So let me show you how to go in and customize that. So to customize all that, I'm just going to go back and we're going to go to our checkout page, which is this one right here. Click on edit. So what I need to edit here are the form fields. So here you can see it says enable coupon field. I don't want that. Additional field, I don't want that. And then enable custom editor. Yes, I need I need that. And it is so easy to go in and remove any items you don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this eye icon and just get rid of all the stuff I don't need, which is pretty much everything except the name and the email address. So you're going to need the first name, last name, and email address. So now this is currently what this looks like. Now check this out. If I go in now and hit save changes, you are going to see a total transform transformation of our checkout page. If I refresh this page now, you notice that we have our first name, last name, and just email address. And now this is now cleaner. It doesn't have a lot of drama going on here, especially if you have a digital product that you're selling. And this is how I've set up my, um, my site. So now you can just go in, enable Visual Builder on any of these pages, by the way. And once you enable that, you can go in and start designing it. So let's say the background color here is not uh, what we need. I can just go in and change that and save. You know, I can just go in and uh, save, change all the text, add everything that I need. And once I'm happy with that, I can exit the Visual Builder. And pretty much we are good to go. Now, there's a few things that I need to explain here which are very important. And that is this checkout page right here you need to make sure that it is excluded in your caching plugin. Because if it doesn't, this is why you find your checkout uh, page is going to keep refreshing and not take the payment. So it's very important that this here is um, set correctly so that this works fine. So now let me explain how this is going to work. 
So if I go back to home here, we are going to get all our stats on the main Cutflows page, on the home page. You can see here, this is how all this works, which is brilliant. Now, you may be asking, so what's, how does our website look? So if I come on my site now, in fact, let me just drag this over here. You can see here, we have this you know, basic page, ugly looking page. If we wanna turn our website into a funnel site, Here's what we need to do. I want to come back over here and I'm going to go to appearance and then click on. No, no, you need to go to settings. Reading. And then come over here to static page. When I click on this drop down, these are all our pages. And I think the one that I selected as my main page is this one here, the farming course. Right? But of course it can be any any page you name yours. All right, so I've set that as my static page. So back over here now, when I refresh this, let's see what happens. There we go. So this now becomes our main page and we've just turned our website into a funnel website. I mean, this is brilliant. So if you have services or products that you sell, we have literally set up a system that allows uh, the customer to see what offers you have and make that process of purchasing that offer easy to do. Okay, so let's just try this one more time. Get started now. It's going to take us now to our checkout page, which is nice and simple. And then once we uh, add all our information now, right now, my PayPal is not connected. But if this was connected and I hit place order, this now would take me to, uh, in fact, let's just add... Okay, let's just add some fake information in here. So this now would take us, right now it's saying invalid payment method. This now would take us to the upsell, which we have over here, the 200. And then if you say no, it'll then cancel uh, or not add that and then go to the downsell, which again, if we say yes, it's going to make it 150. So let's, check, let's take a look at these pages now. So I'm going to go back to... To my site here. I'm going to go back to cart flows because that's where we have all our flows. So I'm going to go back to where's cart flows. There we go. Flows. And here we're going to go into our main product or service here. And now let's have a look at this upsell page and see what it looks like. So I'm going to click here and click on view. So notice I just clicked on the eye icon. So this is where you'd need to go in and add all your information, okay, for the upsell. So I'm going to click on enable. So you need to uh, just uh, do a bit of design to this because we don't really want that background over there. Uh, to be honest, I think it looks ugly. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so all we have is just this background. I'm going to save that. Of course, you can change your colors. So this is the text you can change. So it says here, wait before you go, get an additional three bags, blah, blah, blah. So we, are, we need now to change this text and say, hey, wait before you go, uh, get an additional um, maybe course or whatever service it is. Add it to your order. Okay, let's keep that text here. Add it to your order for only, so in our case, it is 200, oops, 200 dollars. Okay, so I could say usual price or usually um, 300. Let me add the closing brackets here. Okay, usually 300 and then save. Okay, let's say saving $100. Saving $100. Okay, so that's what we need to do here. We are going to save that. So that's the text I've just updated. And then over here, this is where you need to add your product. So you can go in, add your product here and the product description. So here the, we have an option of either adding to the order or saying no thanks. So let's just uh, save this now. And exit the Visual Builder. 
Okay, so these are the two options. We can either say add to the order or no thanks, I'll pass. So if you say add, this will now add to the order, which means the total now would be the total that we have here, which is 300. And then it will take you to the thank you page and pretty much the process of your upsells and downsells is complete. All right, guys. So um, I think pretty much I've covered quite a lot. Let's continue now with the um, question and answer session and um, try and cover as much as we can when it comes to these sales funnels with card flows.